What's up, my lovely friends? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Elizabeth, and this is the Joyful Sojourn, where we share life together, mostly within the context of stationery and planning, decorative, creative journaling, decorative planning, hauls, reviews, flip throughs, all those sorts of things. And of course, I love just sharing life with you. So thank you for being here. If you're new, please consider subscribing if you want to hang out again. Although, it might feel a little differently after we finish this video. I have no idea what to expect today, but I'm, oh man, I, I get tired of the word excited. Like I feel like it's overdone, but I'm excited. So um, I'm elated. I'm tickled pink. I don't know. Today we are looking at items from a new to me shop called oops a daisy they are located in the uk and y'all i went down a rabbit hole okay so a couple of friends slash acquaintances of mine over on instagram use oops a daisy and i was introduced to them through them mostly because of my um uh joining the Archer and Olive ambassador team and following more of their content. And I was seeing a lot of Oopsie Daisy. So I spent a lot of time looking through the website and I subscribed to the newsletter. And then I got an alert that they were having a live over on YouTube and I was still in bed, but I popped onto the live and it was delightful. Uh, and long story short, I got connected with Oopsie Daisy. And if I have an affiliate link, or a discount code, I'll leave it in the description box. I might not, I'm not sure, but they did send these items to me. I am brand new, brand new to stencils. I think I have maybe three in my, um, my collection and I'm not even sure I need a, I need a cutting tool. I'm not even sure that I have ever used the three that I have. But as I get into more creative play and create, uh, creating my own spreads, I, I'm really liking the idea of stencils. And that's because you do not have to be an artist or a doodler or be good at math to create spreads, journaling spreads, planner spreads that make you happy, that have straight lines, you know, all, all of that. And stencils are the way to go. So, um, I, you know, I'm a big sticker girl. I've been doing stickers for years, but, um, I'm really wanting to play with different paper types and it makes me want to not add so much bulk to my planner and to my journals and stencils are just a great way to add formatting without adding layers on top of the, um, the paper. And that is why I've been doing a lot of inks as well. Inks. And when I do stickers, I've been playing around with washi, paper stickers. This is super cute. Oh, so oops to daisies. I would say is uh, again, not an expert on the company, but predominantly stencils, but I know that they have new dot grid journals. They have, um, stickers, washi tape, a bunch of other things. It's a shop that's been around since 2016. So this isn't their first rodeo. Um, but just cute, whimsical designs and hello you oh hi hello oh it's a little love note hold on a little bundle of goodies to get you started oh i can't wait to hear the feedback um once i've had a chance to play so i'm uh, so excited let's go and um owner of the company is joe so thank you joe you guys so before we get started or as we're unwrapping this I, oh my gosh this is so cute and there's a storage album Thank goodness, because uh, I'm having a hard time even storing my stamps. So if I get into this the stencil world, I'm going to need a storage option. How cute is this? I love it's like a grid pattern with a pop of color, but it's like neutral, like a clipboard. Love, love, love. Okay, so what was I saying? <sighs> now I can't remember. It must not have been that important It'll come back to me. If it comes back to me, I'll let you know. But I'm just, yeah, I'm in this place of just wanting to do a lot of creative play. And, oh, Joe. Joe Shop, 2016. They've been around. Looks like my box got broken in shipping. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. So my thing popped off. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. There's such good things in here. So thankfully, this is a 
um, screw that I can pop back in. They are located in the, oh my gosh, I'm like getting little sneaky peekies. Hold on, I'm gonna have to take these items off and we'll go through each one. But first let me fix this guy. Oh, this is so cute for storing your, um, your stencils. So I think this should be able to just pop back in. Let's give it a go. I think mine got a little must, must up in shipping. I'm going to have to fiddle with this um, off camera. But ignore this. So this guy popped off. I might have Chicago screws, actually. A Chicago screw might do the trick because it looks like this got bent. But so we have this really cute binder. Oops, a daisy. It says oops, a daisy there. Oh, and the other thing they do, they have like theme boxes every month, too. So if you wanted to get a themed stationary box every month for your planner, your journal, you can subscribe to their theme boxes as well, which is cute. So uh, hard binder. This has a really nice size. That's a very nice size pocket. Um, really thick cardstock here. So that feels like it's definitely going to keep together. So we have our storage binder. And I don't know if the, I think the binder is probably going to be purchased separately. I'm not sure though. Okay. So let's get into, oh my gosh, all the fun things. And I love that these all come with little pouches. So you can keep your collect. Oh, you guys, they, oh my gosh, they hooked it up. I don't even know where to start. Okay. Let's start with, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. These are all things that I would have chosen. So in this first pouch, it's a zipper pouch, but it's also punched. So it goes into the binder. Oh my gosh, how freaking rad. So I love giant numbers and giant uh, alphas. And this is the block font uppercase set of eight pocket stencils. And it comes on a little ring, uh, five centimeter font. Oh my gosh. These are so cool. I think I'm going to need a piece of paper underneath it. I wonder if we can see it better. We'll put this tissue paper down because the tissue paper is super cute. Okay, let's see if this works, although I might have to flip it over. So here you can see, oh no, you can't see it that way either. Hold on, how about this notepad? Let's try a notepad. So, oh, can you guys see that? I might need to stand up. So here is the large alphas. Oh my gosh. And then see these little cuts here? These are for the inside. So the A is one big block. And then you've got the little triangle for the center of the A right here. And then the big B, you've got the holes for the B. I think we're going to have to test some of this at the end of this video. But the back of the card has a sample of the what the block letters look like, which I love seeing that. It's really handy. And I like that it's on this little ring because I can hang it up on my pin, my uh, pegboard. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I almost feel like we should, maybe as we, let's just do it. As we go through each stencil, I will do one sample. Keep in mind, I am no stenciling expert. So... I hope I don't embarrass myself, but let's go with S because why not? And we'll just use this pen that I happen to have here. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So you do not have to be a crafty person. I'm artistic <clears throat> and I have artistic ideas and creative ideas, but I in no way am good at doodling and like creating my own original art and being able to do something like this that is super low um low profile on the page is and it looks nice and clean is so nice i'm really excited to try these stencils with inks should we do one with ink just to play we've got so many things to look at but i am very tempted to see how this works with ink so i'm going to just put a little washi tape down because that seems like a good idea just to kind of keep it flat 
And then let me grab, I think grab some ink. I probably shouldn't use black. Let's find a nice, let's use like a pretty color. Pretty little color. How about picked raspberry? Because that looks fun. And we'll just see before we even get started. Should I use a dauber? I'm going to use one of these daubers instead of my brush. Um, just because it seems like it would be easier. Sorry, guys. Oh, yes. I'm so excited about that. Okay. Let's do this guy. And let's see how this works. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Ooh, a little ombre action. What? Look. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am going to have so much fun. So we could do ink like that. And then let me just grab a black pen. I'll just use this, this guy because I've got it here. A Sharpie S gel. And I'm just drawing that in. And then let's lift it up. <gasps> oh, you guys, we are going to have so much freaking fun. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Love, 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 love. So I'll have to get used to like right off the bat, making sure that I wipe these down after I use the ink. But oh my gosh, you guys, how fun. So let's keep moving. We have the giant... Um, block font uppercase that is a pocket stencil so that must be related to the size of the font obviously this must be the product number pf07 i'm a big fan pf07 you can you can stay we like you <gasps> look at these giant ones so these are block font same font in um just the days of or excuse me the months the um first letter of the month, PF08. So these are definitely, yeah, like a collection, but these are significantly bigger. They're both pocket stencils, but you can see how giant this is. So this is five centimeters. This is 10 centimeters. Sweet niblets. And then here's the back. So you can see how big. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. I'm like, making sure everything's we've got repeat letters of course um but here is oh and then this one for like october can you guys see that for october we've got your space in the center and just to show you what that looks like we're just going to use all of the things right now this this video is more for me at this point i just want to play with this stuff and figure it out so let's see if Elizabeth, who's new to stencils, can do this. Because if I can do it, oops, you can do it. I got distracted. And then here's the little piece that goes in the center. <gasps> this is so pretty. Y'all, I'm going to go hard on this with inks. Like I might go hardcore inks and stencils. Look at that. You obviously, like if you have a pen, you can then color it in. You know, if you wanted to have this taupey or brown. Oh, you could also do um, like washi art. You know how people do um, washi art where they, this might be kind of hard to do here, where they like fill something in with a bunch of different patterns. And then let's see if I can, it might be hard with paper like this, but let's try it. Where you do a giant stencil. And then you can cut it. I shouldn't have done that black because now I can't see the lines. But we're just playing here. It's my pup barking. I apologize. Okay, I don't know where the O is here or the inside of the O is. But, but you can just, once you cut it, you can peel it off. And then do it this way like if you wanted to have some texture in your giant monthlies I didn't cut that very well but you get the point so there's just two ideas just me playing of what you can do here and then of course you can go in with your inks and 
do some cool looks there. I love big blocks, period. I just think they're so great. Um, so thankful to have these. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Okay, so let's move on. Oh, and these were in. Let's put these over here. Okay, so next we have, let's do the washi tape. Very excited about this. This was on my wish list. Yes, I started a wish list on Oops a Daisy. So um, look at these little washi tapes. They're so cute. Here's our website. But I'll leave an affiliate link down below if I have one. Um, so let's open this up. I saw this and was like, oh my gosh, this is a game changer. If you are a bullet journaler or even if you are... I don't know, just have regular notebooks or, or a planner that's got some, maybe some extra pages at the back of your planner. Um, this could be really nice to have. I'm a big fan of vertical planning, like vertical views, both at the front of the year and monthly. I just see such um, usefulness in having a vertical view. And these are vertical stickers that are, excuse me, washi tape that's going to fit perfectly, perfectly inside your um, five millimeter dot grid so and what would be funny actually is if this grid was five millimeter oh stop it okay well this is also five millimeter so we can use this as an example so this is vertical uh days of the week okay so you can create your own vertical calendar and line up your um, your days with your dates. And I'm guessing that these are for purchase separately. They could be a set. Oh, maybe they are a set. I don't have the paperwork to see um, if this is a separate purchase. They could be a set though, because they seem like they would be paired really well together. So here's your vertical days or dates, excuse me. So, ooh, and then we have stars kind of separating if you've got some extra. So let me turn this guy off. I'm so befuddled. There's just, I'm like, my brain is about to short circuit because there's so much good stuff and I just want to play with all of it. But I always worry if I get too, if I get too much in my head with these YouTube videos, you guys might, you might lose, I might lose you. So let me line this up. Wow, this fits in this grid. That's kind of amazing. I don't remember where I got that grid notepad, but how rad. So you guys see what I'm, see what I'm showing here? We've got our vertical calendar view good for year at glance pages trackers whatever <gasps> love 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 i like that the font is really simple too it's a sans serif it's just very clean very neutral it's going to match whatever you're doing however you're decorating so another win in my book okay so in the live the ladies in the chat we're talking about how the rainbow boxes are an essential kit and that is because you get a bunch of different boxes that are meant to kind of jerry rig or jenga or tetris tetris all these games they tetris together to make spreads whatever type of spread you want so we've got different size boxes so here's your red and your blue, it's more of like a vertical box. And then we have our green box. It's a little bit longer or taller than the vertical. Then we've got one that's a little bit fatter. And then we have a large kind of like a margin sticker in, in a uh, kind of a yellowy orange color. And yeah, it looks like this is going to allow you to make any number of spreads. And it even comes with a little... Um, booklet. So I'm guessing that if you get the rainbow boxes kit, you get the little pouch that goes in the binder, and then you've got a little guide for the different ways that you can arrange these. So if you want five boxes on a page, here's a layout. Oh, and this is sized for the A5, but if you're a B5 person, they do have them for B5. So 
they sent me the A5 and we've got different ways that the four boxes on a page fit, five boxes on a, on a page, six boxes on a page, all kinds of pro tips, seven boxes on a page, eight boxes on a page, nine to 12 boxes on a page. Like, look at this. And then there's layout inspiration. Hold on, I kind of look at this for a second. This is rad. This is rad. I have not um, had a bullet. I haven't used a bullet journal for just weeklies in years because I've been trying all the things. And I wish that like Elizabeth five years ago had stencils like this because I feel like it takes the kind of decorative bullet journaling thing um, and makes it more palatable and easy for those that want to be able to make their own spread so that their planner works for them, but maybe feel like they don't know how to get everything to fit right. This is like telling you exactly how to make things fit. This is amazing. I I'm actually like really, um, I'm really impressed. Summer bucket lit. Oh, this is great. So basically <laughs> in 2025, all of my Archer and Olive spreads are probably going to be using stencils because the work is done for me and I get to still be creative with inks and stickers, but I, I don't have to spend too much time worrying about whether or not my lines are straight or if I can fit the right, you know, having a ruler grid at the front of my notebook, like this kind of kits like this make it easier to enjoy the creative part. I hope that that makes sense. Next, we have monthly boxes. So this is an all-in-one stencil. Oh my gosh, they're so good to include a tip for how it how it looks when it's when it's actually used. So this is the monthly boxes stencil. Also for the A5, but you can get it in a B5. And I like the details on here, like the insert shows what the dimensions are, and you've and it says that it has both A5 and B5 options. Um, monthly spread and bingo spread. That's a good idea. So we've got two lines and then we have one, two, three, four, five, a five by four grid that you would put over across um, a double page spread. And then you've got an example of what that looks like here. You guys, I, I telling you, I wish I had, I wish I had had, you have no idea. I really struggled with bullet journaling um, years ago because of, of the setups. Yeah, I know I've already said that, but I'm just really in love with this product and that it exists. So thanks, Oops a Daisy. So this is, and I should be giving you guys the, maybe product numbers would be helpful. At least on this one, it's SE21. And again, like comes with a little sleeve so you can add it to your binder. So that is very cool. Next, we have a year in pixels. So if you are doing anything, um, tracking anything in the new year comes in an A5 and a B5 size. And again, we've got a really nice example of what the year in pixels looks like. But let's pull this guy out. So we've got year in pixels. And then we've got the box and the key. So all you need to do is take a ruler and draw the lines. But that's it. That is great. I love yearly tracking and I'm planning to do actually some more detailed tracking in my Laurel Denise planner. It's not a bullet journal. It is a one of those landscape twin loop planners, but the back of the of the planner has dot grid and grid pages. And I want to track all kinds of stuff related to health and wellness. I want to track my weight. I want to track steps. I want to track um, like headache or just like feeling sick. And so these I can use in the Laurel Denise planner, which if I had it here, do I have it in here? I just want to see just out of comparison, because some of you might have the Laurel Denise planner as well. Of course, I'm looking and I think it's in the house. It's in the house. But um, you will probably see me using these stencils in other planners that aren't bullet journals. And I hope that that's um, helpful as well. Let's see what else we got. Ah, you guys, these are decorative ones. Okay. 
So I am a huge fan of adding texture and patterns and Oopsie Daisy has textures and patterns. This we have to play with right now. So the first one is a honeycomb. I love a honeycomb pattern. You don't have to, you know, make a B spread to use a honeycomb pattern. And then probably my favorite of all time is ink like splats. I love splats and blotches. I just think they're so rad and I would do them all year. It just makes me happy when I open up my planner and I see ink just splattered. It's just so joyful. I don't know what it is. So we have two patterned um, stencils and this really shows you that they have both the really functional stuff and then they have the fun things as well. I'm going to play with this one just because I have to show you guys how rad this looks. I'm going to grab my pink distress ink again, my picked raspberry distressed ink, and I probably would use a brush, not a dauber like this, but just, just so we can see how it's, it's looking. Let's just do this. No, let's just smudge, smudge and schmear. And you can tape over any inky splotches that you don't want to uh, get ink in them, but let's just, let's just do these little guys too. Cause we're here. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. Y'all we are going down. Oh my gosh. Stop it right now. I'm sorry. This is cool. This is freaking cool. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Can we just hold on? I just have to y'all I'm going to do, there's going to be so many ink splashes in my planners in the new year. This is ridiculous. Hold on. We're going back in. Um, oh my gosh, this is just too much. I'm going to use the same dauber cause we're living on the edge. This is salty ocean. I'm going to try to get off some of that pink and then hold up. You guys just wait. We have to, we absolutely have to play for a second. Stop. This stencil works really great with the distressed inks. What? Can you guys even see that little detailed dot? Can y'all see that? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. I want to do like one more. Hold on. Let's do this one and let's do a different color. Oh my gosh, this is too much fun. I'm freaking out. I'm being authentically freaked out right now. If you're new to my channel, I am a very excitable person. There's no point in holding back. If I'm excited about something, y'all are going to know about it. And I am excited. Very, very. I could, this is going to sound so stupid, but I could cry. I'm so like, my creative juices are flowing. They be flowing. Oh my gosh. This just makes me want to play, you know, it just makes me want to mess with all the things, try all the things, um, and just enjoy myself. This is just what I needed to spice up my life. And then, you know, if you wanted to make it look extra, extra special, grab a little white inked pen. You could probably do some little dots. Like it's shiny, you know? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm into it clearly. Now I need to, oh, man, this is a rabbit hole. This is a rabbit hole. We're going to get dropped into because now I need all of the textured stencils. So I have the utmost of, um, variety to choose from. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. 
Okay, let's see what else we have. We have um, two more stencils. So interesting that some of these are going to come in pouches and the ones that are in pouches, it looks like they're not punched. Okay, so they're in a pouch that has a punch so that it can be um, added to your, your binder. But these ones don't have a pouch because they're punched so you can actually put it directly into the binder without a pocket. I hope that makes sense. Um, so let's take a look at these guys. Love the fonts. So this one is called Smile. It is uppercase. It's F38. I like that it includes the um, exclamation point and the question mark. I think that's a nice touch. And then here, oh, we have a description of the holes. I think if I um, if I didn't know this, I'd probably be like, where are the, where are the holes for the insides of the of the letter? So I like that there's an explanation for the fact that every um, stencil is going to have a row that has the holes in it. So you can fill in those spots. This font was created for our smile camera themed mini one subscription from August 2022. Well, now I need to look that up. Thank you. It's so cute. So let's play with the, oh, see, there's the holes at the bottom. Can you see the holes on the bottom row? Let's um, test this guy out. And I feel like the queue looks like a good time. Everyone loves a queue, right? We'll just use a pen and... Do that. And then that one was tricky because he's got a little um, leg. Oh, wait a second. So this is handy because we can see that the inside of the queue is going to have a little extra swirly whirly, which means it's this hole. And it's going to get kind of narrow, but let's see. that I just made a cue and it's fancy and I didn't have to hand draw it myself yes please and then you can just color it in with whatever vibe you got going on whatever theme you've got going on for the page wish I didn't have a brown pen of all the pen colors I could have on my desk right now sorry about that but look so I just you know made a fancy cue with a stencil Love, love that font. So that is the smile font in uppercase. And then we have the same font in lowercase. So if you want to mix and match, you can do that. Ooh, and the lowercase has numbers. Thank you. I love a good number. Let's, let's test out the numbers. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so, Joe, we have a serious problem here. We have a very serious problem. So I definitely am going to have to find my rhythm with the stencils because some of the detailed ones you want to be careful with because they are fragile. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. And you probably want to start with a finer tipped pen than the one I'm using right now. I think this is a 0.7. Yeah, it's a 0.7. I probably wouldn't use a 0.7 again. Not for the first set of lines. But look at this is so rad yeah how cool is that so that is the smile font well sweet niblets we have a serious problem because now i just want to start collecting stencils <laughs> i want all the fonts and i want all of the textures and like patterns and stuff look how cool that is and with inks oh my gosh my mind is about to explode it really is. I'm genuinely very, very excited. Um, thank you, Joe, for sending these to me to play with. You've got a new fan that is very, it's very dangerous. So again, we've got the lowercase smile, the uppercase smile, the year in pixels. And this is going to be so good for getting, getting ready for the new year. We've got the, let me get the, um, where did my, 
where did my, my splotches stencil go? I'll set this guy aside. Um, we've got the monthly boxes. This is like a no brainer. I think I can already tell that she sent me the perfect ones for a starter kit with the monthly, the rainbow boxes, big letters. Cause I'm a big fan of big letters. And then some of the textury ones and patterns. Oh my gosh. So good. Rainbow boxes. That's a good statement piece. Um, we've got our block fonts in the five centimeter and then the monthly set. Oh man, you guys, you guys have no idea. I'm so excited. The monthly initials. I'm pretty sure you guys are going to see a lot of oops -a daisy on my channel moving forward. I'm, I'm not going anywhere with the stickers. I will always be a master sticker user. Um, but it is just so fun to play. And I love that I have the opportunity to do that with new things and with new companies like oops -a daisy It's so exciting. So let me throw these guys back in here. I don't know how I lost was literally just stamping with the ink splotch stencil and it's already walked off my desk. Well, I don't know where that went. It's here somewhere. Well, friends, um, oh my gosh. I don't know what else to say. I think that's all I have for you. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will leave Oops -a Daisy linked down below. There's a 50 50 chance it might be an affiliate link. So if you do decide to shop with Oops -a Daisy and this video was helpful and you're excited to see more or to maybe make a purchase, please consider shopping with the, uh, the link in the description box and come hang out with me over on Instagram. I do a lot of speedy playing with me's over there on reels. And so if you're looking for more creative play, I do that here, but I also do a lot of that, <clears throat> excuse me, on Instagram and on TikTok as well. Um, yeah. And consider subscribing to my channel if you want to continue on the road to 2025 with lots of creative play. Uh, it's going to be a really good time, friends. I really think so. All right. God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today. Do something that gets you excited as I'm excited right now. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.